Let us look into an example of a dimension and fact tables. Say your company sells some material like the phones and the watches and the parts. So these are the dimensions because these are master data. They do not change. Then your company sells them. So these are your transaction data or these are the facts. And then you also want to know which mall or which outlet of yours and from which city you are having the maximum sell. So these are also the dimensions because these are our master data. So your 00, 0001 Galeria Houston that is a master data but the sales 001 100,000 USD that is your transaction data or that is a fact or that is a number. So the stakeholders or the, your managers or the regional manager or the CEO would like to know which product is the best seller for the quarter or which store sold the most in this current year or which city has the maximum revenue. So based on all the answers they would have to define the future uh, plan for the company. So if the stakeholders just looks at the dimensions will they get the information? No. If they only look at the sales table or the fact table will they get the complete picture no they they will only see that okay for this product this was the um, sales but they will not know which site had the maximum sale or which city is the most profitable so can they get it from dimension and fact table separately the answer is no but if they have a analytical view that means if they join the master data with the transaction data or if they join the dimensions with the facts and then uh, do the modeling or do the research or get a report then they can get the complete picture so which model which outlet which city has the maximum sales which product is the has the minimum sale which is the most profitable and which is the least profitable so this helps the company or the stockhold stakeholders to make future decisions or future plannings. So in those cases, these views or models helps the CEO or the stakeholders.